All right, in this tutorial, we're going to do some work with Google Fonts and Font Awesome. We've already done some work in the previous skills um, assignment with Google Fonts, but we're going to do a little bit more with that. So, um, so let's take a look where we're heading as we've got this sort of grid here that is um, got quotes in it and they have alternating fonts so every other font is a different you know every you know the odd there you have your odd and even fonts so we're going to pull some fonts and assign them to this grid and then we've got this little icon that's down at the bottom and it's got a picture you know it's of a home and that's to give us a good way to get home so we'll see that this page can end up scrolling longer than than the than being able to see the top of it so this is a, just going to end up being an internal link to take us home but it will always be at the bottom of our window so that means it's kind of sticky it'll just sit there and as we scroll it'll it'll stay in one place I mean you don't have to go all the way to the bottom to find it it'll just be it's a fixed position icon and we've done absolute positioning where we're locating a position with with uh, reference to its relative container but a fixed position is relative to the window itself so it's really handy for um, things that you want to always be apparent on a page so things like navigation icons or say social links contact me get help those kind of things that no matter where the, the user is scrolling on a page they always have access to this this um, button say or link so um, if we look at what we're starting with we have quotes and they're not styled and you can scroll but you know there's there's no real way to get home and if I make this smaller why then it's gonna scroll even farther so you know it's gonna so we we're way down and say we had like many many more of these say this was like a shopping site and you were buying quotes and we just had this infinite scroll well what if we wanted to get home for some reason well you'd have to just scroll all the way back so that this is to address that problem and let's get going with this then so as we saw we're starting with um, with all of our quotes you know just placed in paragraphs and we have a section around it and we have a little head section and we have um, a you know so we're, we're really dealing with with uh, we're going to do some styling on these uh, paragraphs giving them some fonts and then we're going to um, attach a what look like a sticky um, a sticky link to home so the first thing we want to do is to oh we do have our style sheets so we're going to create a second style sheet so we don't want to confuse this um, so we have some styling already going on and we haven't done that be, done this before but sometimes you don't want to just keep adding on to somebody else's style sheet you'll see this if you're working with templates um, but you'll want to create your own style sheet and so that's what we're going to do here and so under CSS, we'll just say a new file and we'll call it mystyles.css. And when you're adding your own styles, you want to always put them at the bottom because you may be referencing the styles from, from other, you know, maybe you're overriding them. But if you're going to reference any styles, you need to have them at the bottom because that's that cascading effect you want yours to take precedent so it's got to be closer to the to the tags that you're styling so now I have this my styles and then you would go out to Google fonts and shop for two fonts from two different generic families um, and you can go pick your own I've given a couple of them here so we'll just we can just add these and I'm going to put these link entries for these above any of the styles especially above my new style sheet that I'm going to be adding to because I want to be able to access them so I will place them above my my styles because I might want to reference that one of those fonts in my new style sheet 
Um, so then what I want to do in my style sheet is I want to flip between odd and even with these two fonts. So I'm going to use the pseudo selector and child odd and even and I'll just um, put those into my style sheet. So you see because my style sheet is underneath the fonts it should be able to find them these new font families and if I go look at this yes so I've got my alternating fonts. The next thing that I want to do I'll you know, assign the even font choice for H1. So I'll go up here and let's see in my styles I will put H1 to use this even style. And so yes, now I've got that. All right, so that takes care of fonts. All right, so now that we've got the fonts in place, we're going to go take a look at adding this home icon. And to do that, we're going to see how this font awesome works. We go out to font awesome and we search for home and we will find a home icon that we like. Click on it and then you can see that if I if I click on that I'm copying it to my buffer and it's an i tag which is the old italics tag um, but with a, the class the FAS FA-home that combination of classes will render this home icon and because it's an it becomes it's a essentially um, a font it can be styled in CSS so you can apply colors and sizes to it so I've got that in my buffer um, and you can see it's you're copying this i tag in there and so um, what we want to do is make this clickable so we're going to uh, create this a div with a class of home and we're, we're going to have the href with the double quote so that it takes us to the top of the page and we're told that we could put this um, we can place this code um, right at the very top of the file so um, what we'll do is we'll take this and go to our index.html and I can put it right under the body tag so if I look at that right now of course oh um, I also need to pull in a link to font awesome and that's the instructions are given here uh, telling you to go out to font awesome and start using it for free find the link and we need to copy and paste into the head section are um, the actual uh, CDN link to font awesome so if I go here start using for free and then I'm just going to copy this link into my buffer and again I want to put it above any of my style sheets so that I can use it and with that style sheet in place I can start using this FA S, if I can use their styles to create to bring in their fonts so if I look at this now you can see there's a little tiny uh, font there it's kind of a purple color and so that's their default font size so the next thing um, that I'm going to want to do is is do some styling on that font and um, I've attached a home class to it so I can set this is where I'm going to set position fixed and position fixed has um, relative locations to the top right bottom left that will um, anchor it to the screen so I'm going to take that home and then for FA home there I'm going to be targeting this this um, font icon and giving it a size and notice I use font size to, to give it its dimensions and I'm going to give it a color and I'm going to give it a hover so that when I hover over it it changes color so I'm going to just add this to my styles and let's take a look at what we get there so you can see now I've got this red 
home that if I click on it, so right now I'm not scrolled, but let's say I scroll down a ways, click on it, it takes me home. So it's not the most beautiful thing, but it's, I just wanted to make it very bold on what's happening here. And you just notice that it just maintains its position relative to the whole screen as I scroll around. And therefore it's available no matter where I am in my scrolling. Uh, and this would also apply, let's take a look at what it looks like. If, <clears throat> if I go in here, you can see <clears throat> there's even more scrolling because we have a smaller horizontal size, but I still can always go home. All right, so this is looking pretty good. Let's see if there's anything else we need to do. <clears throat> so we've got our fonts, we've got our, um, and we've got our icon. And so we, I think we're good here. We can check this in, get add, get commit. So Font Awesome is really nice. You can, you should go out and have a look around at all of the different fonts. Not all of them are free. They're marked though. Um, and they have fonts for all the social media and all of that. And we'll be using some of those in the project. All right, so that is Font Awesome, working alongside Google Fonts. Hey, just a quick note before we finish this. This um, grid that you see here, very different than the Holy Grail that we worked on in the grid uh, uh, tutorial, uh, but it is using a grid layout. So this is kind of more of a standard of what you would think about in a grid. And it also, you know, had, a, had the ability to, um, res to resize itself, you know, uh, without uh, having to do a media query. So I don't know if you, let's just take a look at that so you can see that that you know it uh, this grid no media query just wrapped itself nicely up there. And that is due to using this combination of property and values where we said the min max at 400 percent 400 pixels. so, it will do the the one fr, um, but if you're at a larger size, it will it will do three across. So we go so just combine in this um, one property for columns. We're able to set the the width of this and tell it to be one fraction and autofill. But then we can also use the rows to tell it to uh, repeat a three across with one fraction. So just pointing out that if you came across the need to use just kind of a standard grid, this is a really nice set of um, properties and values to get you a responsive grid. And you could, of course, vary how many across you did and such. All right, just a little aside there.